Viewed over one million times on YouTube, this chilling footage from Strongsville, Ohio was posted by Tracer88. He certainly didn't expect to see such a startling apparition while out exploring the woods with friends. In 2010, a group of friends were walking around the woods at night, hoping to get photos of paranormal orbs floating through the air. They photographed various parts of the forest in order to document their findings. However, they also took a bunch of pictures of one another gallivanting about. We see them in a myriad of shots, sometimes posing for the camera, and other times walking off into the distance in different directions. Everything seems fairly normal, until some of the pictures were analysed later. One photo in particular was incredibly startling. An almost demon-like hand appears to wrap around a tree in several shots. The video shows us a zoomed in area of the photo where you can almost make out a humanoid-like head lurking behind the tree. None of the participants in the nighttime adventure noticed anything particularly strange or heard any eerie noises. It boggles the mind as to what could have possibly been hiding behind the tree. Did it have malicious intentions? Everybody made it back safely, but who knows if it's still lurking in the woods to this day. One thing's for sure, I wouldn't be heading back into those woods anytime soon. Arguing will let negative energy in your home. They don't mean to do that. They're not, they're not like planning on, you know, they don't... You know how it feels to hang out with your people? And they don't even want you there. Like, they do like, want you there. They, they want you there. They like, they like you a lot. No, they don't. They like, the only they like, yeah, they like me. They're my friend. But they're because they're my but but they like you a lot. Rude to me. They're not. They're not trying. That's just how they. Do not watch this if you get scared easily. A man in El Salvador found a scary well where he heard crazy horrifying screams coming out of it. Ya vieron.
But that's not even the crazy part. After being there for a couple seconds, he actually hears this. Hola! The Bible says that hell is a place of never-ending torment, and this also is not the first time where they find a place that goes into the earth and they hear these kind of screams. If you want to know for sure that you're not going to burn in hell, watch the video that I pinned in the comments for you. Don't devil, challenge don't the devil dare unless the you're devil ready to, to mess stand with your the word ground. of God. I'm at this point. You can't do that. That's a little teaching tool we use to teach our children that you have authority over the devil. I double dog dare the devil to do what? To deal with the word of God. And that's what these guys are doing. They're dealing with the word of God. Don't knock on wood. Our lives. I haven't mentioned the practice of knocking on wood. Don't raise your hand. Has anybody ever knocked on wood? Do you know where the practice comes from? It's a druid practice believing that spirits live in the trees. So when you knock on wood, you're asking the spirit that lives in the tree to come to your aid and to grant your request. Now, if you've ever done that, I'm not saying you're possessed. So don't worry about that. But I just share that as an example of how things that have to do with the occult can become so mainstream. But this is the real reason why I don't show my face. I know. See? See, I got real long line bloodline. I watch this. See that? See that keep my identity hidden, man. Fuck you, then they gonna do what they see me with this shit. I'm gonna kill my ass. Three strange and incredible unresolved ancient mysteries. Number three, the Codex Gigas, also known as the Devil's Bible, is a mysterious medieval manuscript containing a terrifying illustration of the devil. According to legend, it was created in a single night by a monk condemned to be walled alive with the help of the devil himself. Weighing about 165 pounds, 75 kilograms, and measuring nearly 36 inches, 92 centimeters tall, this gigantic manuscript maintains its mystery with the disappearance of ten of its pages. The content of these missing pages might contain the steps to summon the devil. Number two, the Nazca lines are a series of giant geoglyphs drawn on the ground in the Nazca desert, an arid region of Peru. These lines form various figures ranging from simple geometric shapes to complex representations of animals, humans, and plants. The mystery of the Nazca lines lies in their origin meaning and method of creation, as they were drawn between 500 BC and 500 AD. What is intriguing is that these drawings can only be fully appreciated from the sky. Number one, the underwater ruins of Japan, specifically those of Yonaguni, are one of the most fascinating mysteries of underwater archaeology. Discovered by a diver in 1987, these puzzling rock formations are located off the coast of Yonaguni Island in Okinawa Prefecture. The structures appear to be carved from rock, and feature sharp right angles, steps, and terraces, suggesting human construction. She visited him even. Animals are afraid, that's exactly when you should be very afraid as well. This rabbit reacted in pure fear because of this right here. Something running with half its body gone. I'm gonna roll the clip right now.
There's certainly more than meets the eye in this first video, which shows a child and his father spending a day by the pool. Uploaded to the YouTube channel The Great, this chilling footage presents viewers with a very strange mystery. In the video, the boy's father can be seen on the pool's deck, while the boy, who's holding the camera, jumps into the water. As he leaps, we see a mysterious set of hands reaching out to touch him as he enters the water. The boy, seemingly unaware of the hands, turns back to his father who's still on the pool's deck. He then turns the camera back on himself in order to give the viewers a thumbs up. You can clearly see that there's no one else in the vicinity. Next, the father takes the camera and jumps into the pool, giving viewers an even better view of the surrounding area. In the video's description, the uploader mentions that he thought he was alone with his child in the pool, while friends played at the other end. Where then did this mysterious set of hands come from? Whoever they belong to seems to have disappeared into thin air. If they were that of a ghost, it suggests that they're a benevolent one. The hands seemingly appear only to help brace the boy's dive before disappearing. So what do you think could be going on in this video? Are the hands really of supernatural origin like the uploader suggests? Or is there actually a way to explain their owner's bizarre disappearance? Love to get your opinions on this one in the comments section below. Guys, I'm just putting laundry in the dryer. I could hear, oh my God. Hi, baby. <gasps> Oh my god. <gasps> Guys, Jaden isn't home. There's nobody down here. Look at the cat. Look at the cat. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! The rise in popularity of TikTok has caused a boom in the amount of alleged supernatural footage that's been captured incidentally. This bizarre clip posted to TikTok by user John O'Donnell 22 is just one example. The footage shows what appears to be a coyote in hot pursuit of an odd creature running down the sidewalk. Long and emaciated, seemingly running on its hind legs, the creature in question is unlike anything seen outside of a fantasy movie. With a long snout and no discernible fur, the beast looks like an alien's idea of a dog gone wrong. The coyote is either distressed by the strange creature or views it as potential prey, as it chases it down the sidewalk before it manages to disappear behind the nearby bins. The coyote, confused by the creature's mysterious escape, performs a double take before continuing on down the road. Then, just as the camera pans back towards the bins, the creature suddenly somersaults itself over the top, while letting out an unusual squealing sound. While this video certainly has its skeptics, there are several small cues in the footage that could indicate it's real. For one, the coyote genuinely appears to be chasing something and certainly seems confused when the creature disappears. So what do you think? Could this video really show proof of an alien creature or even some sort of mysterious cryptid yet to be classified by science? Or is it more likely to be just a little bit of TikTok fun? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below.
was a security guard working the night shifts in an old store over in Louise Echeverria sometime in 2019. Working the night shifts can be quite scary in general since that's when our mind likes to play tricks on us and pareidolia has the most effect. But sometimes these experiences can be just as real. For Raoul, he began to experience some paranormal activity within the store that he just couldn't comprehend. So he did what most people would, and that was to record for proof. What he managed to capture is truly terrifying. Estás grabando completamente solito. Manches. Oh. Bueno, así normalmente es. Casi toda la basura es de aquí, de Soriana. Todo lo que te. No mames. It seems this section of the building is being renovated and a lot of the activity seems to come from here. Maybe the source lies within this area. Raul continues walking and eventually witnesses something truly chilling. ¿Qué tal amigo? <laughs> Hola amigo, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? No vengo a molestarte. <risa> a ver, vamos a acercarnos poquito. No, así me da quiz quiz. ¿Qué pedo? <risa> no mames. No tiene pilas, no manches. <risa> Espero que esto sea... Si se esté grabando, no sé. Esa cosa mide como dos metros, no manches. <ríe> qué pedo, qué pedo, no manches, no manches. ¿Cuándo vas a acabar? <ríe> no manches, no manches. Ay, me hinché de miedo, no manches. Vámonos tantito mejor, no sé. <laughs> At this point, Raúl is nervous from the chills and decides to leave. But just moments after, he musters up the courage to turn around and go back to inspect this Santa Claus to show his viewers. Si me muero. Ah, ¿cómo estás, Carla Vanessa Bolis? Rafa. Ya sé, ¿verdad? No manches, qué pedo. <risa> Está horrible aquí, no manches, si huele bien feo. A ver, vamos a ver qué se trata de este amigo. Hola, Santa Claus. Hey. Mándale un saludo a mis amigos, por favor. Ay, no manches. <risa> qué pedo, no está conectado, no manches. Qué pedo. No manches. Oh. Ay, qué pedo, qué pedo, no manches. ¿Estás bien? Esto sí da un chorral de miedo, no manches. ¿Qué pedo con esto? No manches, ni siquiera está conectado, no manches. Oye, gordo, ¿estás bien? No, sabes que ya mejor me voy. <ríe> Qué tontería estoy haciendo. <ríe> la veo, ¿verdad? Es que... Uy. 
What makes this extremely creepy is that the mannequin rotated and slid towards him before falling over, as if deliberately trying to hit him, and then the Santa Claus wasn't functioning when he switched it on and off, and was completely disconnected from the back. So just how did it fall on its own? Oh. <laughs> Maybe a spirit was inhabiting this statue. On another night, while in the warehouse, Raul captures something terrifying once again. No quiero especular, pero es que cada vez esos, esos golpes, esos sonidos. Ay, cabrón, cabrón. Ay, no mames, no mames. Ay, cabrón. Ay, güey. Nada más el, el deber ser, porque pues, si queremos nosotros hacer bien nuestro trabajo, pues obviamente tenemos que ver. As he is about to pan the camera to the right and walk away, a black shadow figure reveals itself from behind the corner for just an instant before moving out of frame. With all the events that occurred, it's hard to write this one off as a hoax, since there was some compelling evidence. Raul believes that the spirit manifested here was that of a little boy. So maybe this spirit was inhabiting the Santa Claus. It was around 3 a.m. in the morning when the Half Family 2018 captured a strange phenomenon in their ring camera. I'm gonna play the video. Notice how in the end you can hear the voice of a little girl saying, We are here. The only problem is there was no little girl in their backyard at 3 a.m. in the morning. Check this out. An Indonesian YouTuber by the name Wak Ringa usually likes to explore supposedly haunted locations around the country that are recommended to him by his viewers. And for a while now they have been requesting that he go and explore a particular forest in Indonesia. A forest that many locals claimed they had seen humanoid creatures within. And so upon his arrival he decided to turn on his live stream and as he makes his way through the woods, not much happens for the most part of it. Until he captures something terrifying. Kalian dengar sesuatu? Kalian dengar suara? Kalian dengar suara dan mereka? Mereka seperti mengikuti di belakang gua, teman-teman. Ya, 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 gue dengar suara. Gue dengar suara, teman-teman. Dan arahnya di daerah, arahnya di daerah sini. Astagfirullah. Ah! Ah! Anjing. Goblok. While traveling through the forest, he encounters some humanoid creatures and just moments later, one of them charges towards him while making a creepy sound. He instantly runs away and doesn't return. Now, are these real humanoid creatures or not? You judge. Avoid this bus route at night. Bus Route 975 is a poorly lit route road that is laden with vegetation and cemeteries. Drivers of Bus 975 have reported encounters where the stop bell rings even though the bus is empty, and others even talk about seeing a phantom figure at the side of the road. Apparently, when the bus passes through the Lim Chukong area, the bus stops at some stops to open the door and alight someone, and say, thank you, before moving on to the next stop. 
Would you dare to venture into this area or... certainly more than meets the eye in this first video, which shows a child and his father spending a day by the pool. Uploaded to the YouTube channel The Great, this chilling footage presents viewers with a very strange mystery. In the video, the boy's father can be seen on the pool's deck, while the boy, who's holding the camera, jumps into the water. As he leaps, we see a mysterious set of hands reaching out to touch him as he enters the water. <laughs> The boy, seemingly unaware of the hands, turns back to his father who's still on the pool's deck. He then turns the camera back on himself in order to give the viewers a thumbs up. You can clearly see that there's no one else in the vicinity. Next, the father takes the camera and jumps into the pool, giving viewers an even better view of the surrounding area. In the video's description, the uploader mentions that he thought he was alone with his child in the pool, while friends played at the other end. Where then did this mysterious set of hands come from? Whoever they belong to seems to have disappeared into thin air. If they were that of a ghost, it suggests that they're a benevolent one. The hands seemingly appear only to help brace the boy's dive before disappearing. So what do you think could be going on in this video? Are the hands really of supernatural origin like the uploader suggests? Or is there actually a way to explain their owner's bizarre disappearance? Love to get your opinions on this one in the comments section below.
But tell me I'm on fucking crack. Every time I turn off the light, there's like a shadow in there. Watch. You see that? What the fuck? What the fuck? Tell me I'm not on fucking crack, dude. Hell no. What the fuck, dude? I'm out of here. Ma. God. Follow for more. Anna? Are you there? Did you guys see that? Follow for more. What the fuck?
Hello? Uh, hey, so this is gonna sound a little crazy, but I just saw this ski ball fly out of there on its own and uh Have you checked your closet tonight? Hello? <laughs> Follow for more.
hearing weird noises in the basement Steve so I just want to oh my god oh my god oh my god no fucking way no way oh my god oh my god see bro there's nothing on this fucking door hello yep fuck that I'm not going down there Steve, are you home, bro? Yeah. Hello? What? Follow for more. On October 25th of 2022, a paramedic posted a video of something freaky that occurred during this lunch break. The video is pretty short, so not much happens, but it's a certain detail caught in this footage that makes it quite disturbing. The video begins with the paramedic filming inside a hospital where a couple of surgeons are getting ready to transfer a very sick patient to a different wing. The paramedic walks out of the hospital to record them coming through. It isn't until later that the doctors arrive for the sick patient who according to them passed away only hours later the paramedic then stops recording now it was only after finishing work that the paramedic had watched this video and noticed something strange about it looking back at the footage they noticed that during the time they were waiting outside for the doctors to arrive something unusual was caught in the background take a look If you look closely at the hallway inside the hospital, a dark, shadow-like figure can be seen standing at the end of the hall. It's there for just a few seconds before suddenly disappearing from sight. The paramedic has no idea as to who or even what this might have been, but judging by its appearance, viewers believe that an entity of some sort was seen. They further add that this entity might have been death itself, considering that the patient in this video passed away that same day yet it's still not sure as to what was captured. But one thing that's certain is that whoever, or whatever this was, didn't seem to belong in this hospital. It remains unknown as to who, or what, was caught on camera.
small five-person private submarine designed to take high net worth individuals down to see the Titanic wreckage for $250,000 a pop is lost somewhere at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean with air running out. The Ocean Gate submersible lost contact just an hour and 45 minutes into the expedition, and they say it has 96 hours of life support and oxygen aboard the craft. However, they took off two days ago, so you're looking at about 50-something hours left to get these people back to the surface. Now, this is what the inside of the submarine looks like. This is where they say they fit up to five people. This is what it looks like with four people, which is absolutely fucking crazy. Going down to the bottom of the ocean inside of a tin can with this many people crammed into a floating coffin that has no connection to the surface, no ship above you, no cables, no nothing. You gotta be absolutely out of your goddamn mind. And the craziest thing about this whole fiasco, this is what they use to control the ship, a PlayStation controller. And the only thing you can see is on a TV screen. We have our uh, control screen here, our sonar screen here, and we can put any image we want in the back. And a completely new approach to the sub design, and it's all run with this game controller, and it's Bluetooth, so I can hand it to anybody. And it's meant for a 16-year-old to throw it around and super durable. You're telling me this whole expedition runs on Bluetooth? I can't even connect my headphones to my phone when it's in my pocket. You guys are going to go 12,000 feet below the surface, all to watch something on a TV screen? You could have just sent a robot down there and watched it from your couch. Did you need the whole company Ocean Gate? Of course something went wrong, you were ass- A man named Aaron suddenly became a victim to a terrifying haunting. Every day he would experience creepy paranormal events. He would sometimes wake up to loud bangs around the house, see objects move on their own, and just overall have the feeling that something is lurking in the darkness watching him. And without a clue as to what caused all of this, he had no idea what he should do about it. One night he heard strange noises around the house, thinking an intruder may be inside, he decides to record. This is what he captured. Thought someone was in my house. What looks like a pair of two glowing eyes can be seen lurking outside the door behind the corner just a mere second before the door slams shut by itself. After taking some advice and suggestions from his viewers, he decided to sage the house, but it turns out this action only served to make things worse, causing the activity in his house to intensify. On another night he is woken up to the sound of a cat meowing at his door, and doesn't think much of it. But the very next night, it happens again. This time, he decides to go and check it out. And he captures something utterly terrifying. As he pans the camera downstairs, a black shadow figure can be seen making its presence known in the corner of the room. And when he gets to the front door, there is no sign of any cat, but instead he sees three black hooded figures sitting out in the grass in the middle of the night. After a few days of more activity, Aaron makes a tragic discovery. He notices a foul stench beginning to cover his house and it seemed to be emanating from the apartment below his. So he decided to check his neighbor's window, and it was full of flies. In order to get to the bottom of this, he calls 911, assuming the worst may have happened. And that's when they make a disturbing discovery. Oh, I don't need you to call her, just 
Well, my neighbor hasn't came outside in a while, and I looked at his window, and there's a bunch of flies. And my apartment started smelling, I'm like right above him. It started smelling weird. And I walked up there and looked at his window, and there's a bunch of flies, and it kind of smells like, like a, like dead, or like, Turns out the neighbor had passed away many weeks ago, which seems to have been the cause for the foul smell. Strangely enough, nobody seemed to show up for the man who passed away. The police tried contacting every emergency contact, and they all had no response. So either this was a man who had no close family or friends left to come and visit, or he was involved in something more evil which kept everyone away from him. The other neighbors told Aaron he was an angry man who would cuss the kids and other people who walked by and in the middle of the night his front door would be left wide open but only darkness can be seen inside and as you get nearer to the door you could hear him cursing at someone but he never had any guests Aaron suspects that the man may have been into satanic rituals and witchcraft and his passing somehow triggered an evil presence to invade Aaron's home as if he was a sacrifice for an evil entity. She played the Ouija board and began acting very strange. 21 year old girl named Kamilka suffered a minor head injury while playing volleyball. A couple of days later, she decides to play the Ouija board with her friends on an old family owned hut in the outskirts of town. Shortly after, Milka began acting very strange, making growling noises. She decided to barricade herself in the attic. The police were called in fear of her being possessed. An officer uses the name of her daughter to try and lure her out. <laughs> Eventually, the officers entered the room and overpowered her. She was taken to a hospital where her blood work showed she was not under the influence and would later wake up completely normal. Did her head injury mess with her state of mind or was she really possessed by playing the Ouija board? А ты его видите в углу?
Kamilčo, chodź na dół, twoje dziecko cię woła. Chodź Kamilcia, dziecko cię woła. Kamilka. Wiktoria cię woła. Wiktoria cię woła. Wiki cię woła. I'm going to show you guys four videos of a mysterious phenomenon that has been occurring all over the world for a while now and no one knows exactly why. Skyquakes, you might have heard about it. It's a mysterious and unexplained phenomenon of a sound that appears to be coming from the sky and the ground actually shakes. This is the first video coming from the USA. I know I'm a little slow, but that's not an airplane, it's not a rocket, maybe the dragons have been released, somebody pissed off Godzilla, I don't know, what the hell is this? Whatever it is, it's shaking my house. This next video is coming in from Spain, check this out. Vez, señores, esto da mucho miedo. This next video is coming in from Peru. This last video is coming in from Canada, Toronto. Guys, hear that in the sky? Do you hear that? It's over there, and then it's over there, and over there, it's weird. We're in Toronto, Canada, and there's this weird sound on the sky. You hear that? I'm seeing that. Go, go, go. Oh, come on. Eric. Eric, get in the car. We gotta go. We gotta go now. Run. Oh, 